Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is April 24th. This episode is related to e Hang. First, let's see the countdown to mid-2022. For today, the countdown to mid-2022 is 66 days. If the type certification granting passed the date, we will present the ticking past mid-2022. This is for observing the historical event in a ceremonial form with anticipation and excitement buildup. In this episode, we will talk about Ehang partner in Nantong, Jiangsu obtaining low-altitude airspace flight permit for local urban air mobility UAM project. First, about low-altitude airspace regulations in China. As you may know, there are separate regulations for aircraft and airspace. For each operational flight route, besides obtaining the airworthiness certification for EH-216AAV, Ehang or Ehang's partner still needs to obtain the flight permit by applying to the air traffic control authorities for flight airspace and flight plan. Also, when the aircraft takes off from a vertiport to the operating airspace, it often needs to coordinate with multiple flight control departments along the way. In recent years, the country has been promoting the reform of airspace management system, airspace refinement reform, and low-altitude airspace management reform. Hunan, Jiangxi, Anhui, Hainan and other places have successively carried out pilot work on the reform of low-altitude airspace management. We may note that. With regards to air traffic control authorities, there may be multiple government entities involved. The main one is the CAAC. With regards to air space control, in China, currently, the Air Space Control Authority is the military or PLA People's Liberation Army. This may be related to air defense safety. General aviation aircraft have relatively low flight heights, small volumes, and relatively slow flight speeds. For the detection, identification and defense of low, slow, and small flying targets, they are thorny issues to the Air Force. Currently, for Ehang 216, the test flight permits are mainly confined to less populated areas such as scenic attraction spots for air tourism. But, it is good to know that Ehang is also actively promoting test flights in populated urban areas for UAM by partnering with local aviation companies. A video clip just appeared on China social media, which shows the flight permit for UAM inside populated city areas in Nantong. Recently, we talked about Ehang 216 at Nantong Sports Exhibition Center in Nantong. The new video clip now provides more useful information. First, let's know a bit about Nantong. Nantong is a prefecture-level city in southeastern Jiangsu Province, China. Located on the northern bank of the Yangtze River, near the river mouth. Nantong is a vital river port bordering Suzhou, Wuxi and Shanghai to the south across the river. Its population is 7,726,635 as of the 2020 census. Nantong along with the nearby mega-city Shanghai is in the populated Yangtze River Delta region. Next, let's see some images extracted from the video clip, which is presented at the end. In this image, the text says, Special. Ehang Nantong's first test flight. Nantong Sports Exhibition Center. In this image, the top text says, Ehang Zinfihang Urban Air Mobility. The lower text says, Zinfihang, Jiangsu, General Aviation Company, LTD. Here. Ehang and its logo. Here on the right. The red text says, Jiangsu Zhongnan Hangzhan. Or, Jiangsu Zhongnan Terminal. Here Jiangsu is the province name. Zhongnan means Middle South. Hangzhan means aviation terminal or station. Jiangsu Zhongnan Terminal is supposed to be state-owned. From here, it appears that the company, Zinfihang, Jiangsu, General Aviation Company, LTD, is supposed to be under Jiangsu Zhongnan Terminal. In this image, the red banner says, Warm congratulations to Nantong Zhongnan Terminal for obtaining the flight permit from the Air Traffic Control Office of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. Here is the image with the translated English text. Warm congratulations to Nantong Zhongnan Terminal for obtaining the flight permit from the Air Traffic Control Office of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. From the wordings and the banner in a celebrating mood, you can see this is a significant event for the entities involved. Next, let's see the possible organizational structure for Ehang UAM in Nantong. Note, the ownership and relationship information provided here is based on unconfirmed observation and interpretation, and is not official. 
Ehang Zinfihang Urban Air Mobility. This indicates that Ehang partners with Zinfihang to operate the UAM project in Nantong. Zinfihang, Jiangsu, General Aviation Company, LTD. This is the full company name of Ehang's partner for the UAM project. The company is supposed to be under Jiangsu Zhongnan Terminal. Jiangsu Zhongnan Terminal. This is supposed to be a state-owned entity, which has obtained the flight permit from PLA for the UAM project. Next, let's see the other entities that may be involved. In this image. Text on this sign is not very readable. But from the readable part, it suggests. The text says. Zinfihang, Jiangsu, General Aviation Company, LTD. The text on this sign indicates. The company, Zinfihang, is. Member of China Mobile 5G Network UAV Alliance. The text on this sign says. North-South Flight, Nantong, General Aviation Company, LTD. The text on this sign is for the CAAC. Next, let's see the Ehang aircraft at the test flight location, Nantong Sports Exhibition Center. In this image, as you can see, there are quite a few units at the location for the UAM project even at this early stage. This image shows the first test flight at the location. This image shows the test flight in the populated urban area. This is another image for the flight in the populated urban area. As we may know, Ehang has been focused on its UAM initiatives in the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area. It is great to see that Ehang is now expanding its UAM initiatives to the important Yangtze River Delta area. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.